hello today we will be dealing with uh, spare cube tutorial and uh, i will discuss some basics about the icm uh, which are related to the spare cube tutorial like now this is our agenda so uh, we will discuss some basics about the geometry operations and uh, their relationship with the build topology and then the some basics about the O grid, C grid, which is also known as the half O grid, and L grid, which is known as quarter O grid, and also the O grid and Watson relationship. And then we associate the vertices to points and edges to the curves. And then setting general par mesh parameters from the mesh part setup. And then the I will show you the pre mesh and the skin plans, and then conversion to the unstructured mesh for the fluent, and output a mesh file for the fluent. And then we will place some uh, with the boundary conditions, and uh, we will change some boundary conditions arbitrarily to give you concept about the how the different surface parts and uh, their blocking effects on the on the boundary conditions and then I will show you the mesh in the fluent and we will check the mesh by some matrices like uh, orthogonal quality and uh, skewness and SF ratio so before going to the tutorial I will give you some basis about the Watson blocks and the O grid. Whenever you create the block, you will always see the one block on the screen. That's your main fruit block. But in reality, there are there are eight uh, eight Watson blocks on the sides of the this main block in the two D. And there are the 26 blocks in the what one in addition to the main block. So whenever you create the O grid, these operations are also applied to the warp one. And what's the logic of the warp one? I will discuss in the next slide. Now this is the these are the 2D and 3D blocks. After turning on the warp one, now you can see. Half of them. So this is the. So after that uh, ogre operation in the 2D, uh, here I applied the full ogre operation. Now you can see that the. Uh, main block is divided into the five main blocks for the ogre and uh, this one uh, the orphan blocks are unaffected if you select the one edge on this side this O block will be passing through the orphan blocks and you will get the mesh uh, you will get the blocking up to the orphan blocks similarly in the 3d I have applied uh, O-Grid and uh, by choosing the one face on the one side like over here and uh, with the Warframe block uh, uh, right corner you can see that the O-Grid is passing through the Warframe blocks now go to the main tutorial ok so this is the uh, now let's say if we turn off the Warframe block for the 2D case so this is the O-Grid let's say if we want to check what happens uh, with the quarter O grid and the half O grid and their uh, effect on the warp one as well now let's see ok now select the main block and select the one edge ok and down turn on the warp one as well when you apply it and uh, you selected the one edge over here like this one so the orbit will uh, will be passing from here to warp from block so you will see the o blocking over here but 
at the end the match will be straight to the war farm log so if you apply it now you can see so match will be going from here 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 and here will be the block here uh, and the mesh o block is not passing from the this block so this is also known as the half o grid uh, 